Hi, welcome to Tuesday's Quick Tip. Before I get started though, hold on just one second. I'm about to show you how I just did that. What's up? My name's Ray, this is Lit With Ray. Welcome to my channel. I make videos on creativity and technology. So if this is your first time here, consider subscribing. If it's not your first time here, consider subscribing. You can call it double exposure, cloning yourself, it really doesn't matter. What we're gonna do now is get right into this in DaVinci Resolve. So, you know, let's do it. Cool, so I'm gonna show you the way that it really happened, and then I'm gonna show you the way that I want you to think it happened, cause you know, my way is cooler. Hi, welcome to Tuesday's Quick Tip. Before I get started though, hold on just one second. I'm about to show you how I just did that. Cool, so pretty simple. All I did was get up, walk around my desk, I actually kind of ran, it was like a fast walk. And the real trick here though, was that I had to make sure that I held onto my chair so it would stop spinning once I got up. Otherwise it would have completely ruined the effect and yeah. So I'm gonna show you right now how to do this in Resolve. First things first, what we want to do is find where I came back into frame. So I'm going to actually scroll back right here and I'm paying attention to the shadows too. Okay, so shadow stop about here. I am going to cut. Once I do that, I'm going to drag it up and I'm going to find the part where I left the frame. Also, still paying attention to the shadows. You don't want to put all this effort in and then not even like have it work. That would be really bad. Okay, so right here is about the time that I left at 8.11. Going back, so at about this point is when I'm gonna be grabbing the chair. We're gonna go over to the color page and First things first, you want to add an alpha output and drag the alpha output of whatever node that you have. I would suggest creating a new node. For this example, I'm just using the global node. Drag that there, or go to that node, and then create a new box. The size, I'm going to put at 100 because it's a little bit easier to work with. The real size is 75, but I want to be able to work with this easily without worrying about whether or not I have it framed up or if I'm missing a section. I want to drag this window over and you're gonna see that I instantly appear just like magic. And we'll set it about here because I don't want to neglect my shadow right there. That shadow is gonna be very important. So for corrector number nine listed right here, we're going to open it up a little bit, click on linear window, and that's going to create a key point. I want this thing to follow me into frame. So I'm going to go back all the way and I'm going to zoom out a little bit and drag this off screen. So about here and now, now it's followed me. I am now gonna be following myself out. So I'm gonna wait for me to leave. Actually probably zoom in again. And again, just paying attention to the shadows. Cool, so bring this over to the full frame. So now we're gonna go back. And obviously I'm cutting myself off here, so I just need to slow it down a little bit. Drag it back here. Again, back a little bit. Going back to edit, we're just gonna start from the beginning and replay it and see how that looks. Hi, welcome to Tuesday's Quick Tip. Before I get started though, hold on just one second. I'm about to show you how boom. So pretty simple, right? It looks really cool though. And if you can sell that, that's going to be the best part. Quick question for you. Have you ever done this before? Have you thought about it? Have you seen it? I know Peter McKinnon's done it in a couple of his videos too. I wanna to know down in the comments below. Don't forget to smash that like button if you got value out of this. Hit subscribe because I'm coming out with new videos every single week. And until next time, I'll catch you later.